Hello and welcome to another episode of Cancer Education and Research Institute. In this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that is very important to me and I hope after this explanation, this will be very important matter for you as well and I hope this will be an important matter for all humanity because it is a matter between animals and humans. Today I'm going to talk about zoonosis or the plural word is zoonosis and at the end of the video please do watch until the end of the video because at the end of the video I'm going to talk about that tiger that was infected in the New York City Zoo by a human with coronavirus COVID-19 virus. So I'm going to talk about that and why it is important for you, especially if you have a pet cat at home. We will be talking about this at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started. Zoonosis is an infectious disease that is caused by pathogens, which we also talking about it in a minute, that is being transferred from animals to humans or from non-human animals to humans. So let's talk about facts. What are the facts? The facts are that 60% of all infectious diseases in humans are caused by zoonosis. This is very important. This means that 60% of all infectious diseases in humans, which includes the COVID-19, is caused by zoonosis, meaning it has been transferred from an animal to the human. And then the other fact is that 75% of all emerging infectious diseases is caused by zoonosis. Now let's talk about what the pathogens are. The pathogens that can be transferred from an animal to a human are bacteria, viruses, parasites, and pyrants, which are misfolded proteins and can be acting very dangerously in a human body. And an example of this is the mad cow disease. That, and we were talking about this also in a, in a minute, but the pyrants are also pathogens that causes zoonosis. <laughs> Here I'm going to list only a few of these diseases that you also have heard a lot in the news. And the entire list, you will find them on our website, which link I will give down below, or you can find it also in the comment box. So you will find the entire list of all the zoonoses on our website. So Ebola virus disease. Ebola virus disease is a zoonosis. Salmonelliosis. HIV, you know, HIV was first originally passed from a monkey to the human, but then over the years, a new strain of the HIV emerged that only transfers from human to human. So originally, HIV was also a zoonosis. Bird flu, swine flu, Spanish flu. Later on, these swine flu and the Spanish flu was combined with the humanized version of the virus, which caused in 2009 the swine flu pandemic and in 1980 the Spanish flu pandemic. The African sleeping sickness, it's a zoonosis. Anthrax, as I just mentioned, the bovin spongiform encephalopathy, which is the BSE, 
which is also called the mad cow disease, is also a zoonosis, brucellosis, cat scratch disease, Chagas disease, Lyme disease, and COVID-19. As you know, the COVID-19 virus originated in Wuhan in an exotic animal market. It was transferred to a human from a bat. Now you can see how dangerous it is when you have exotic animals in particular or you're dealing with large amounts of animals and you're not eating well-cooked animal meat. I mean, there's so many things that comes into this. And I will talk at the end of the video why this is so important, especially if you are also a pet cat owner. But we have to be really conscious about also after a COVID-19 crisis, when we go back into our lives, actually right now, we have to really pay attention to the zoonosis. And we have to think about what are we doing as human beings? Why, why we are so, number one, endangering the animal's survival and also why we are also hurting ourselves and I will talk also uh, later in our video about the causes of zoonosis so that we can prevent it going forward because it's a really big issue and we have to pay attention to that and I hope this video will guide you and I hope you will share this video so that everybody can understand how a big deal this is and if you want to avoid other pandemics like COVID-19 or another like swine flu or another like the Spanish flu which killed millions of people so we have to be very very careful and we have to make sure that we have to pay attention to this and how we deal with animals so let's talk about the transmission the transmission can be done via air and influenza and all the flus are in this category. Bites and saliva, for example, rabies is transferred with bites and saliva. They can be also intermediate species which are vectors which are transferring the disease. They are not getting sick themselves but they transfer from one animal to the human. There is another thing which is actually the fact which I'm going to talk about about the tiger at the end of the video but anthroponosis is the opposite of zoonosis. It's also called reverse zoonosis because it's when the human infects the animal, which was the case when the tiger in New York City Zoo was infected by a caregiver in the zoo. So now let's talk about the factors that increases the emergence of zoonosis. Deforestation and other land use changes illegal and poorly regulated wildlife trade. We have to pay attention to that. Antimicrobial resistance. This is such a big issue in our world as well. Intensified agriculture and livestock production. We hear this all the time. Climate change. Invasive species that carry microbes into new habitats. International travel and commerce. These are the factors that increase the emergence of zoonosis. So we have to pay attention to that as human beings, as humanity. We must, going forward, pay attention to that. As you have seen 
four, the list of talked about all the diseases. And again, you will find the list of all the diseases, all the zoonoses on our website. And you have to think about, we can actually do something about it. I mean, do we really like the fact that we have now this COVID-19 pandemic in 2020? I mean, it's not 1918 when we had the swine flu, when tens of millions of people worldwide died. It's 2020. We have to pay attention going forward to the factors that actually causes the emergence of zoonosis. It is our job as human beings doing this in our world. We must. That's so simple. So I want to talk about the tiger in a New York City Zoo that was infected with COVID-19 virus from a caregiver. And this tiger later on infected four other lion and tigers. What we do know is that Cats and cat-like animals, which includes tigers and lions, have almost the identical receptor, which is a protein on the cell surface that lets the virus inside of the cell with the human receptors. So the cats and cat-like animals have almost the identical receptor on the cell surface like humans that lets the virus in to the cell. That's why you have to be careful at home if you own a cat, particularly, or if you have other pet animals. If you are COVID-19 positive, if you quarantine yourself at home, make sure you have to stay away from animals if you do not want to infect them, particularly if you have a cat, you have to be very careful because of these issues what we talked today. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. What do you think about zoonosis? Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to know what do you think about zoonosis? What do you think about how we can prevent going forward these zoonoses in our world? Comment down below. Let me know. I would love to read your comments. I would love to interact with you on your comment. I will see you there and I will see you on your website. Thanks so much. Take care.